function for the guests that came in for Yoan Blake and Usain Bolt um, for a fundraiser for the kids back in Jamaica they're buying some equipment. pediatric equipment for the hospitals so we're going to a, an event and I hope they allow me to vlog in there and I don't know if Usain Bolt is gonna be there or not because I know that he had some incident a tragic incident that happened to one of his good friends and he's gonna be attending the funeral tomorrow so he might not be here but I know that Blake is here at the end of the day it's still a good cause so we're gonna go and support as much as we can right all right let's go see what's up in the place Usain Bolt will not be here tonight uh, because he, um, he had one of his best friends pass away I uh, Johan uh, did agree to still come, and we are so glad that you are here. First and foremost, I want to say, I believe in children of our future. Teach them well, and let them lead the way. One day, one day, we all will be gone, and they are the ones that are going to take the world. I'm here tonight to support our good cause. I'm training for the World Championship, and I leave my training because this is more important than even my training. Okay, my lovelies, look who I have. Are you calling um, me lovely or no? I'm that calling them man. my lovelies. Oh, mama me. <laughs> you are super oh, lovely. Thank you. Okay. How can he be super lovely? He is the mayor of our beautiful city that all of you international lovelies want to come to. So John, And Auntie sorry. Jillian has chosen to live here in Toronto, so that must mean it's the best place in the world. So it's a real thing. It's a real thing. That's <laughs> It's a real thing. So bring my lovelies here to Toronto. What is it about Toronto that they have to come and see? Because a lot of them are coming this summer. Come this summer and you'll see we all love each other. No matter who you are, if you're black or white or brown or gay or straight, we love everybody here and we celebrate everybody here and we want everybody to come here. And Auntie Jillian's here, so that proves that everybody wants to be here, comes here and is loved and is welcome here. So. Yay. So listen, my lovelies, I am here with Pinball Clemens, and you know what? I'm going to tell you this. It wasn't too long ago that he was playing with the Toronto Argonauts. Ooh, and it seems like a lifetime ago. Well, no. Yes. <laughs> You're still looking good. You're still looking good. Thank you. So tell them why you love Toronto. The, the, the reason we love this city is, is because uh, we look after each other. It That's is it. The most multicultural uh, city on the planet, so much opportunity, and it's so full of life. Our sports teams kill it. We have so much entertainment. This girl kills it, right? And so we, 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 we just, we enjoy others' success here. We, we look to, to see people successful and build on that. We're not envious and jealous of each other. It's just a good news place. Good stuff happens in the T-Dot. That's why we love it. We, we're proud of all of our stars, from, from the littlest to the biggest, and those that are coming along the line. Yes. We know when you're in school and you're watching this and you're following her and you're wondering, can I do this? Yes, you can. Yes, you it is can. in you. You're made for this. You are endowed this ability. So please He's doing. Toronto is supporting you. We're behind you 100%. It's a real team. And it is a real thing. I love him yes, and sir. welcome to Canada because I know y'all going to be trying to move here. <laughs> I 
Red Jacket Vegan Aris. Is that a real thing? <laughs> well, I hear that you have to eat plantain and what? What? Plantain, yam, and banana. Uh huh. So I've been eating it. So I feel like I'm coming up to par. Yeah. Yeah. So we we go try it out. We go try it. Yes, we're going to have it. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> Come in. <laughs> So listen now, you're down here for the charity, right? We all know about what you do on the track and field. And you say we have to give condolences to him because of his friend that passed away or else he would be here. I know a lot of them and that's why I'm here today. So for it's a good cause. It's a real thing. It is a real thing. And so tomorrow night, you're gonna we, we kind of up in a stuffy place, but tomorrow night we go let down. We go we go rock down the place. Yes, we're going to it's a real thing. <laughs> It's a real thing. Okay, so Uncle Warren is really excited about putting on Pinball Clemens football ring. The great pinball. The yeah. great pinball. Show them the ring. Yes. This is bling bling. I'm talking about right here, son. I'm here with Dave McLaughlin. How did you get them here? Well, I'm a close friend of you and Blake, and I know you stand for well. And I knew that they're world class humanitarian and scared about them being here. So when I spoke to them, it was like they don't even think about it. It's just like automatic. Yes, we want to come and support them. Okay, so Uncle Warren went and bidded on a silent auction item, and now they're going to announce the winner. I wonder if we won. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh gosh, let me go and see what it is that he tried to bid on. And how much he bid it for. Kim, why did you tell me about Warren bidding? I didn't know bid on the thing and I didn't know how much you spent on it. <laughs> Does he not know we get in the kitchen done? I mean, I don't mind the bidding. But did he have to really bid that much? He won. Warren, he's gonna win. All right, so they're gonna announce the winners of the um, silent auction things, and I have a feeling. And Mario, you won. <laughs> I think we won for sure. Thank you for everyone's Your winners. Let's just see. The winners for the silent auction jersey by our honored guest Johan uh, Blake and his um, partner Usain Bolt. Um, so the winner for the signed jersey is. Sheridan Cyrus. Sheridan, Sheridan Cyrus. Why? 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 Fifteen hundred dollars. Wow. Mr. Why? Sheridan Cyrus. I got it. Won. Congratulations. Aww. Congratulations. Warren got outfitted. Warren got you. Warren, you're supposed to check these things. <laughs> Our second prize, uh, second away is uh, oh my God. the Neil Bracco trip Aww, to Toronto. Thing. We really um, wanted the it. The winner for this trip is... I'm so sorry, fun last night getting to meet all those different kind of influential people check out the mayor and pinball Clemens and we had so much fun and uh, so today now is my turn I'm gonna be emceeing at a nightclub and what is it that I'm supposed to say am I talking about their humanitarian side yeah that's the idea are you gonna talk about the stats no <laughs> So the function went really well last night and Kim brought to my attention that Uncle Warren went and bidded on something, right? Yes. A and what happened? He tried, he tried to bid on something. <laughs> <laughs> but he made a rookie mistake. And you know you're supposed to bid at the very last second, write down your number, because when they call it, you know, you know that you're the last person to put your, you know, your bid in. Mm -hmm. But he, he was too busy chatting, socializing. <laughs> and then they called the winner? And it wasn't Warren. It wasn't Warren. And he was you guys, so you, mad. You guys are killing me right <laughs> now. No, and because of that, you're, my lovelies, he's not in a very good mood today. <laughs> he's not in a good mood. He you made extra... I thought you would at least be on my side. Listen, I, I, rookie Seriously. mistake. Rookie mistake. Rookie. When Milan has her soccer um, auctions, you know what you're supposed to do. Bid and stay by your piece of paper because someone will outbid you in a few minutes, Absolutely. right? Those were more active. Like, 
The ones at the um, the auctions no, were you, from Milan. You looked They're at lucky. that. You looked at that crowd. I know. I did look at the <laughs> you crowd. You looked at that crowd and you made some I can't assumptions. Believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Assumptions yeah. that people weren't gonna bid, and that was your problem. That was right. a downfall. Right? That was a downfall. That was, like that was a downfall. That so, like so he's Rookie treating us. Trick. He's treating them really bad today. Not me because I don't eat the chicken, but the um, jerk chicken is extra spicy. <laughs> Said he's acting like bounty killer tonight. Ayo, ayo. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is bounty killer. <laughs> uh, he's acting really stupid today. All because he lost last night. So oh. we're gonna go to the club we're gonna have fun we've got it recording right we got people here that are gonna record the events Aaron's trying to play really himself. really like if he's hiding <laughs> they, they listen my lovelies don't miss a beat you know Aaron they don't miss a beat I'm not they here. go he's not here they, yeah I'm Aaron's here. not here and these guys they're they're not here either we got some filming going on and things you know you'll soon know about it's a real thing <laughs> so let's go to the club get ready and stuff right yeah you gotta be 25 to go but milan said that since um i'm emceeing that those rules are all gone but i really think you should stay home if you don't want to be embarrassed i really don't want to be embarrassed <laughs> yo 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 oh my God. it's the killer i don't want to say something to my daughter and hey women may be mother <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, so I'm ready for tonight. This is the outfit of the night. It's my, uh, I've never worn this. You guys know I love jumpers, so this one is a kind of a velvet one. What did you say it was, Miles? I said it looks like it's velour. You know the velour track suits? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Hi, Kevin, you're relaxing. Sure. All right, so tonight... We're taping an episode of Auntie Jillian. Right? That's correct. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just laughing because I saw um, Tim over here. Hello. Tim's a part of the crew. And he, he put up a sign saying, yeah. attention please, we're taping an episode of Auntie Jillian. That, I find that so funny. Yeah. Yeah. And he has, we gotta keep it official. You know? We gotta keep it official. So we're going to the um, club. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Hi. Y'all know that I like to just talk off of the top of my head. So that's what's going to be happening tonight. I kind of know what I'm going to say. It's going to be very brief. Very um, to the point. It's a real thing. And uh, we'll see you guys at the club. We're up in the club. One of the first ones here. We're sitting down in here. Around some 25 and over event. I'm not 25 yet. And you know, it's easy for me to get in, you know, because I'm tall and shit. But Milan, on the other hand, is pick up <laughs> in the booth <laughs> eating chicken fingers and fries. <laughs> We're in the booth right now. We're in the booth right now for having a baco. You're trying, to, you're trying to cut up some Hennessy? Henny. You're trying to, you're trying to mess with the Henny? Jeez! Like the, the chicken fingers and stuff. In the booth and thing. It's just another regular day with with the fam, you know? Alright. So as we await our special guests, I was just told that they're on their way. But guess what? Them said traffic. So what is it? If they're running so fast, then should have just come out and get around the car. You know what I mean? <laughs> but really heavy duty track meets coming up very soon. But he left that for this weekend to be here in Canada because he's fundraising for a pediatric hospital for our preemie babies in Jamaica. He's a really fantastic, humble young man. And I just want to say on behalf of all of us, thank you for knowing where you come from. Thank you for supporting your country. Cool. He's a little bit shy, but um, you're breaking up the records on the track, man. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. Thanks for having me, Thank you. All right, so that was pretty good. You know, we had a late, late night. We had such a long day, and um, everything worked out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys yeah. are tired. I'm only getting. Mm -hmm. tired. How did I do with the speech? You did well. Yeah, you were on point. 
I was on point. You covered everything. So you mm -hmm. see, after all of that practicing today on figuring out what I was going to say, I just said what I felt to say and it worked out. So great night, great fundraiser, great people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby, baby.